What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Torrance and in today's video I wanted to show you how I make my own tinted sunscreen. I am someone who's very big on my skincare and while in the process of making it I realized this could make a good video idea so I stopped and I just wanted to show you all this is what the final look looks like. This is not my bare skin. This is a mixture of sunscreen and foundation because I am someone who hates throwing out the old bottles, so I usually store them in here. And I'm gonna show you how I make it. It's not an exact routine. You can use the products that you have. It's a way of having a very fast, quick routine and not have to worry about protecting my skin. But if you wanna know how I achieved this look, please continue to watch. So basically, what I'm doing today is making my own tinted sunscreens. Many times what I find is that after I get through with the foundation bottle, we just toss them straight out and there's still a lot of good product left in there. So what I've been doing is taking those empty bottles. Um, right now, you may notice that I've been recently using the NARS Sheer Glow in my videos. But before that, I was using the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. You can see there might be that little ring right there in the middle. It's because once this bottle was empty, I peeled the label off. I started filling it up with my Paula's Choice Extra Care 9 Greasy Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 50 here. I just shake this up and I fill this up about halfway, you know, just right in there. I didn't give any measurements or anything to see about what kind of coverage was this going to give me. Because one, I want all that makeup product that I pay for and there are just days where I truly don't want to do my makeup, but I always want to have my sun protection. And this is just a way of, you know, making sure I stay on my skincare and being able to play with makeup without having to give up either or. We're going to test to see what kind of coverage this has because I've never done it with this particular foundation. So I just want to see what the color is going to look like. I can add a little more coverage or change the color of it by adding more foundation. So what I'm going to do now is first I want to go in with primer because we've already started diluting our sunscreen. I want to make sure that I stay above the SPF 30 recommendation. What I like to start off with first is my Paula's Choice Smoothing Primer Serum. It has a broad spectrum of SPF 30. So knowing if we go in with this, we're going to start off with what we need. The main reason I like this is because right here, it's clear. And although I don't personally mind the white cast, if I'm worried about protecting my skin, I'm not really worried about flashback in pictures. I have no idea where I got this little wet and wild brush. I have no idea what the name of it is. I got it from the dollar store. But you can use any brush that you have. And this is just going to show me what that color looks like. And honestly, that right there is a pretty nice match. So you know what? We're just going to go ahead and put that on. Once again, this is supposed to be about skincare, so I'm truly not worried about having full coverage or anything like that. This is just to make sure we keep up on our skincare the way we do on our makeup. And this right here will also go as a second layer of sunscreen because remember we had SPF 30 in the primer. And now by adding this on, it's not going to be our full SPF 50, but at least we know we're getting some. And just because I personally want to see if it's going to cause any irritation, I'm going to put a little bit above the eyes. I have several different powders that I tend to use on top of my sunscreens just to make sure everything is set. The current one I'm using is the Paula's Choice On The Go Shielding Powder. This has an SPF 50. Once that runs out, I'm going to be testing out the Invisible Setting Powder SPF 45. It says it has 100% mineral sunscreen and it has sweat resistance. So I'm going to be testing this out next as soon as that one runs out. Some old favorites that I used to love were from Bare Minerals. They're original or they're matte foundations because they both had an SPF 15. Both of those in my shade, which is gold and tan. I also have the 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Mineral Veil Finishing Powder. This has the SPF of 20. I think this is going to be the one I'm going to use today just because it's the last one I held in my hand. Flawless Face Brush. This is the brush that used to come in the kit with everything. Not even sure if they still sell this brush or that kit. I'm just going to take that and sweep that right across the center of the face. Just to make sure that part doesn't move. And just because I'm known 
for creasing on the lid. I'm gonna I'll sit here and just give the skin a little glow around the edges just so we don't look completely dry. Debating on whether I want to test the mascara out, but because this is supposed to be a laid back look, we're not even going to go that much. Uh, what I will do though is put a little something on the lips. What do we have here? I am going to add a little Fenty Glow by Rihanna. You know, just put a little dot of that on a lip just to give me a little color and a little shine. All right, and so what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead, cut away, pull my hair back, and I'll be back just to show you what this looks like. And this is the final look. I'm honestly enjoying how light and fresh this is coming off on camera. Normally, I'm the type of person who's either going a bare face or I'm going all out, like I want my makeup beat and done. But this comes off as just, like, I could almost lie and tell somebody, like, what makeup? <laughs> like, this is all me, honey, you haven't heard? But I'm really enjoying it, and I think this routine may keep me on my skincare routine in the afternoons. But lately, I've been so busy at work that I haven't been focusing on taking that last 30 minutes, running to the bathroom, putting on your sunscreen, and making sure it's set in before you go outside. But... Having a routine like this will remind me to do it on my off days for sure because before I go out, it makes me want to get a little glam, but this is a routine I can rush and do in a few moments as you saw. I think it's three steps. It's primer, tinted sunscreen, powder. This to me is like the whole point of makeup meets skincare. And I truly hope you all like this video. If you want more videos like this, just go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. Also leave me a comment down below if you've ever tried a routine like this, but this is just my way of doing things with the materials I have. You can easily switch these out. If you just want to use your moisturizer or any primer, go ahead. If you want to use an SPF 30 sunscreen and a tinted moisturizer, just use what you have to get the best results that you can. And that was the whole point of this, is not going out and buying anything new. But I really hope you all enjoyed this video. Continue to practice, stay blessed, and until next time, bye YouTube.